Alrighty everyone, welcome back. It is now October 19th of 2023 and given that we are getting closer to the end of this month which only brings us even closer to Disney's upcoming release of the Marvels, they are expecting this to be one of the biggest box office failures within the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But that's the last thing on Disney's mind. We also have a lot of things happening within the Hollywood bubble, specifically with Jada Pinkett Smith. Now we know that this drama has been an ongoing thing. It really went away for numerous months. Then it came back after, you know, a lot of recent things actually erupted by Jada Pinkett Smith about the whole Chris Rock drama, the Will Smith drama, which by the way, both of them have seemingly moved on from all of that. And Jada Pinkett Smith does not want to let any of this go. But there's a lot more developments coming out of her firings from multiple studios within Hollywood and exactly why that actually occurred and exactly which ones let go of Jada Pinkett Smith and what projects that she lost in the process. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. Now, one thing about Pinkett Smith is that she has been somewhat inactive within Hollywood. She hasn't had a big acting career, so to speak, in probably a very long time. She's had some narrating gigs on and off. Uh, you know, she was the narrator of Cleopatra, stuff like that. But other than that, she really hasn't received any kind of major big time roles that you would consider major blockbusters. I mean, yes, she was in The Matrix 4 that failed horribly at the box office and just did not work out well for her, let alone for Keanu Reeves, great actor, by the way. I think he's a fantastic, you know, person and actor and really true to his art. Great musician, by the way, as well. But when we look at Jada, all right, this is where things begin to really unravel about her firings within Hollywood and specifically what really happened behind closed doors. Let's discuss, shall we? Now, specifically, all right, with Jada Pinkett Smith putting herself back in the Will Smith and Chris Rock drama recently, one major development has to do with her status in Hollywood that is rapidly falling apart as multiple high-status Hollywood studios recently fired her from locked-in acting roles and narrating opportunities for the next couple of years that are now all done for. As it turns out, Warner Brothers was working with Jada Pinkett Smith to make some level of a comeback in her acting career after the box office failure of Matrix 4 Resurrections. They were prepared to announce her in a new film that was going to be considered a drama, action, thriller, much like ones that she has done before in the past, that she starred in, such as Collateral, with actor Tom Cruise. After the recent drama that was ignited by Jada, she was let go from this opportunity, and even Paramount Pictures slash DreamWorks recently fired Jada Pinkett Smith, as they too were prepared to bring her back in another role after many years since she did do the film Collateral role back in 2004 with Tom Cruise. Now, by the way, guys, in case you are fully unaware about one of her biggest roles, I feel, in Hollywood, it's one of her more significant thriller movies, I would like to call them, is Collateral. Great movie. I do suggest that you all check it out. Not necessarily for Jada Pinkett Smith, but more or less for Jamie Foxx and Tom Cruise. I think that they're fantastic in that film. It's one of a kind, it's a one of a kind film that you probably have never seen before. Some of you may have seen it, but I think that the majority missed out on that film. It's really a true work of art where you really feel the acting is in line. Now, moving on from that, I don't want to get too off subject, but Jada Pinkett Smith has had her opportunities before in the past, and many of which were supposed to basically give her a comeback that are now falling like flies. And look, we know that a lot of this is rooted back to her creating and stirring up more drama with the whole Chris Rock nonsense, the whole Will Smith slap situation, and it's not ending there. It only keeps getting worse and worse. So on top of all of this, this is where things get even more severe, all right? Now, they were in deep conversations of bringing her in one of their own thriller movies that they will be announcing during this holiday season that no longer involves a Jada Pinkett. To top things all off, Pinkett Smith was even excluded from two other studios in Hollywood for big time narrating gigs that she was signed on for. This was for both National Geographic and Discovery. 
Now, this is where things get interesting as to why she was dropped from those. It turns out she was let go from Nat Geo as she was banished from Disney. We talked about this a couple of days ago. And Nat Geo, as you all know, is part of Disney Publishing Worldwide. This narrating gig was going to be focused on popular land and sea sites across the globe that they plan to drop in 2024 as they are now seeking a new narrator to take over Jada Pinkett's locked-in role that she lost. Now, she lost her narrating gig from Discovery due to her firings from Warner Brothers as well, where this project was going to center on a big documentary about rare fish deep below the ocean that she was going to do extensive voiceover work for. Now, let me say one thing about this. Now, are you guys noticing a pattern that she seems to have been getting more narrating gigs than acting gigs? Or at least on the same level of the very few acting positions that she was getting by other studios like Warner Brothers and Paramount slash DreamWorks, etc, etc. So, this is interesting because we know that Nobody wants to work with Jada Pinkett anymore, at least the majority of Hollywood. And we're going to talk about that in just a second as to why some studios are fence riding on that decision and why they are still latching on to whether or not they even want to move forward with letting her go. Now look, the biggest debate of all is, yeah, she's been inactive, but that doesn't necessarily mean that she, you know, would not be able to get fired from said studios that she has been affiliated with before in the past, which she now has been let go from. The ones that want Jada Pinkett are remaining very silent. And this is where, you know, you can see that she is another one of the insufferables, as I like to call them. You know, you've got Jada Pinkett, Phoebe Waller, Bridge, uh, you've got Brie Larson, Rachel Zegler, even, I would say, Jimmy Kimmel, can be added to the list as well as Peter Dinklage because he fully supports Rachel Zegler and her comments about Snow White and that Snow White film overall. In fact, he is the one that really started the whole Seven Dwarf drama nonsense and really shouted things against Disney. So, I mean, we see this growing list of insufferable actors slash actresses and really just beginning to quickly diminish because Hollywood is slowly, and I mean at a snail's pace, slowly turning the tide and beginning to realize that some of these actors and actresses are nothing more than box office poison. But let's continue, shall we? Now currently, Jada Pinkett Smith holds no intentions of returning to Hollywood at all for the very few studios that are still fence riding with their decision on Pinkett. Many studios are aware it would devalue their image by hiring Smith in upcoming roles, which is why all conversations by other studios have reportedly come to a halt in order, of course, in addition to her firings from the previous listed studios. With her new book out now, there are many critics about what her talking points are about in her new book, and she plans on writing more about her life story in Hollywood, and plans to tell new truths about Will and Chris Rock as well, according to her team. Now, we already know that Jada Pinkett Smith is very much a person within Hollywood that the general public wants nothing to do with. I think it's safe to say that the majority of you out there would not want to see her in a movie or a TV show or an animated film, whatever it may be. So anyway, guys, I would like to see what you all have to say about this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys next time.